Good morning! Magandang umaga po! Today we're going to talk about social security. A lot of the people are struggling with when should I retire? If I retire at age 62, that is the minimum age at which you could retire unless you are disabled or you have disability. They say I'm going to receive less money compared to when I retire at full retirement age. Now your full retirement age is going to depend on when you were born. When you were born will determine what is considered full retirement age for you. And of course the maximum is 70. I'll try to keep it simple. So stay with me. Hang loose. My suggestion if I were you the first thing you should do is to contact the Social Security office or make an appointment or go in there with the Social Security Administration and ask them what really applies to you. How much will I receive at age 62? Let's say you're already past age 62. I'm age 65 now. How much will I receive if I retire now compared to if I wait until my full retirement age compared to let's say 67 for you, let's say that's the full retirement age, or 70 years old. What will be my benefit? Those are only the three things that you will need to get from them. Then you go home and you start analyzing your situation. But I'm going to put it in a nutshell, what are the things that you should think about before you decide to retire? Obviously, if you're weak, you have no choice but to retire, it's a no-brainer. You have to retire. But you have options. I can retire now. I can retire later. Then these are things that you will need to consider. Let's take a look at it. Why should you retire at age 62? For many people, about I think 40% of retirees retire at age 62. But again, that is the minimum age at which you can retire. The amount of check is less. But the amount you receive in total dollars could be more. Now, how will you be able to recover that? That's the so-called break-even point, which, which we will be talking about in greater detail. You may not live past the break-even age. Consider your lifespan and compare it to when you would break even, meaning when you will receive more by filing later. So if you file later, you can receive more, but meanwhile you have foregone collecting during earlier years. No other income now or in the future. Well, if you're still working and money is good, why will you retire? So continue doing it unless you feel, I've had it. It's time for me to enjoy life, to enjoy retirement. You're going to be one of the blessed ones if that is your situation. A spouse can claim spousal benefit, which is 50% of the benefit you receive. A non-working spouse can receive up to 50% of your working spouse's benefit. So if your working spouse receives 2,000, you will receive 1,000. So you, between the two of you, you will get $3,000. Now, if both of you are working, you will receive, you will collect on your own benefit and your spouse will collect on their own benefit. And when one of you dies, the surviving spouse or whoever has the higher benefit will, receive, will be received by the surviving spouse. If your benefit is higher than your spouse's benefit, you will just receive your benefit. If your spouse's benefit is higher than yours and he dies, you will receive your spouse's benefit. And by the way, speaking about spousal benefit, you cannot claim a spousal benefit. The spousal benefit is basically for people who never work. The spouse never work and is relying on the other spouses or the working spouses benefit. She or he, the non-working spouse, cannot collect the spousal benefit until his spouse or her spouse files a claim. So, until he files a claim, there's no spousal benefit. 
you will have extra spending cash by filing early or you simply just need the money okay if, you, if, if your money is not adequate and you're frustrated you're desperate you you need to get more money well that's a way to uh, file early that's a reason to file early and of course lastly we are going to talk about well just how do you compute the break-even age and this will help you understand what I'm talking about when I talk about break-even so let's uh, take a look at it and see how you determine this and by the way uh, a, a, there will be a copy of this spreadsheet that I'm going to show here available for you just by requesting down below okay down below uh, look at the uh, comment section or above the comment section uh, that there, there, there is a link and you could request for it okay and I will email it to you and in addition to that you will also be emailed uh, the Social Security Administration manual uh, that's pretty extensive and you will get all the information that you need to make your own determination so now let's take a look at the uh, computation of break-even age this is I prepared this spreadsheet to make it easy for you but uh, really you don't need a spreadsheet it'll be easy for you to calculate this if you have a little bit of uh, skill in math so the first thing is look at the age retirement here if you're going to retire at 65 obviously you cannot retire earlier than 62 so I have here 62 67 is my assumed retirement full retirement age for you okay uh, that's called FRA full retirement age let's say 62 and 70 you're getting a bonus for retiring later than the full retirement age but let's say that you're retiring at 65 so obviously you change that to 65 and your ne next break even is 65 then to 67 then to 70 okay uh, how do you determine this you have to talk i mean to talk to the uh, social security administration office to get all these benefit amounts what will the benefit amounts be at these break points so let's assume 62 and you can see here i said after age 61 because you cannot file anything before you are 62. now in this case i got these uh, published numbers from the internet this is not exactly yours because the benefit you will receive depends on number one your age number two the number of credits you have and the amount of income that you paid in to social security so each one is going to be different now 1426 if you retire at age 62 let's say if you wait until 67 you will get 2061 if you wait until age 70 you will get 2561 meaning by waiting what is this five years by waiting five years you will get 635 dollars more per month and by waiting another three years from 67 to uh, 70 you you will get 1135 again this is this number here is in comparison to the base at age 62 so you can see that uh, that's very enticing it's almost double look if, if you retire at age 62 1004 at age 70 you'll get 1001 more not quite twice but big amount big amount that's very enticing but why I say wait until you are age 62 and then go for it again depending on your situation your situation may be different in which case the decision is no no you have to wait this is how you determine that at age 67 you will receive 500 635 more right 2061 instead of 1426 the problem is this when you wait until you're age 67 you could have gotten the money the money how much how much money it's going to be 1426 from age 62 to 67 or five years five years of mula that you have forgone so you take 1426 times 12 that's every year times five years this is the amount of money that's a big amount eighty five thousand dollars and look if you wait until age 70 
it's going to be 1,426 times 7 years times 12. And that's going to be, I'm sorry, that's 7 years, that's 8 years times 12. That means you will receive $136,000. A lot of money. But, but, by waiting until you're age 67, you will receive 635 more. So you say to yourself, okay, I could have received 85, but I did not. But I will be receiving 635 more a month. So you divide 85,000 by 635 and you say you would have recovered this money that you lost in 135 months or installment 135 divided by 12 that's so many years you will have to wait for you to recover that money and then add that to this age okay at age 67 is when you stop add those number of years and it will say you will be 78 years old in summary in summary i'm saying if you waited until age 67 to collect the money you lost eighty-five thousand dollars, but you will get 635 more that means divided dividing one into the other in 135 months uh, you would have recovered the amount of money you lost and that is equivalent to you being at age 78 so you retire at 67 by age 78 you're good if you die before 78 you lost money if you survive beyond 78 you made money same doing the same calculation here 121 months divided by 12 add that to the 70 70 age you'll be age 80. So by waiting at age 67, you will need to survive until age 78. By waiting until age 70, you will need to survive until you're age 80. Then you will break even. Okay, you will break even. And uh, you say, oh, well, am I, going to, am I going to survive at age 78 or age 80 or am I going to be dead? For example, when in my particular case, when I decided to collect now uh, at age, let's say, 62, I can't remember, yeah, at age 62, I would break even when I'm 78. My dad passed away when he was 77. And I said to myself, hmm, with the medicine today, I will probably surpass that however with all the issues i have my blood pressure diabetes and all that what's the chance i'll be gone before i'm age 78 so i had to take a gamble and i decided to go at age 62 why is that it's not all money i want to rest i want to enjoy life i'm not going to continue working and working and then later after one or two years pass away it doesn't make sense so i said even if I lose money, at least I had the enjoyment of being retired early. So that's another non-financial factor. Now, I'm going to throw one more thing here. If you're receiving your Social Security because you needed the money, that means you get the money, and you spend, you spend, you pay the bills, all that. This is a good analysis. 78 and 80 will be a good break-even point, right? But suppose you have pension, other pension coming into you, and you don't really need Social Security. Social Security is different from other pensions you may be receiving. You may have other business too. And uh, is it worth 635 and 1135 and forego the other ones because you could receive this $85,000 or $136,000 and invest it. As you receive it, you throw it in investment. Okay, let's say you, are, you have stocks, mutual funds, real estate investment. You will have certain returns. So the money you receive now is worth more than the money you receive later. Okay? Now, what is that? 
And this you have to really think about if you are in that situation. Another thing is you may not be investing, but maybe you can pay off debt. Let's say you still have home mortgage, okay? If you continue to pay your home mortgage, maybe your interest rate is 4%, 2%, whatever, or credit card debt. Interest rate could be like 14%, hopefully not, hopefully not. Hopefully all your credit card debts are paid off because you're preparing for retirement. But you have to look at that and say, money should be worth to me now than receiving it later. See the top part here? Because I'm saying here it's zero return to me because when I receive it, I spend it. When I receive it, I spend it. I have nothing to spend. Uh, I mean to invest my money on. And I don't have credit card debt or home mortgage because in the case of credit card debt and home mortgage, now it's not a return however it's going to be saving the interest that you're paying on those so let's say you have a home mortgage that you're paying at four percent interest and you can actually prepay those of course without penalty and save yourself the four percent so that money you receive now is worth four percent more so let's assume that to be four percent look at the break-even point now from 78 it jumped up to 84 okay and, and compared to 70 from 80 it jumped up to 86 you'll have to be age 86 for you to break even now a home mortgage is a good example if you could receive this Social Security and pay pay off the extra money that you have received on Social Security let's call, consider that extra money because you have other income let's say but I could pay that off that's that money is worth 4% to me. So if you use that 4%, you will break even at age 84 and age 86. And then you say to yourself, gee, am I going to survive that long or not? That's the beauty of the time value of money. This is, I, I have watched a lot of uh, shows on YouTube and they're not factoring this. And I'm saying to myself, no, that should be factored in. And the reason is for most people, they don't invest, houses paid off, things like that. So to them, money today is worth money tomorrow. So no difference, which means the first, the one on top is a good enough analysis. But for those, for example, if you have that social security money is extra money and you can invest it in stocks and you get 6%. 93 and 95 is the break even point between 67 and 70. Not too many people will survive that long. I know some people survive at age 100, even beyond, but 93 and 95, so it will not make sense. So again, it depends on whether or not you can use that money to invest or pay off existing debt for which you are spending or paying interest on. All right, so this is, uh, this is the uh, spreadsheet I'm willing to share with you. Uh, just go down below in the uh, uh, information section and click the link and request for it. And you will receive, in addition to this model, uh, a copy of Social Security Administration publication regarding, uh, regarding Social Security benefits in general, also the retirement ages. Uh, depending on your uh, date of birth and wish you luck in planning your retirement but like what I said best thing for you to do is to go to the Social Security Administration and go get those few numbers and for this analysis you only need the percentage here if again if you don't have any investment opportunity you just turn that to zero and then the amount of money you will receive at whatever retirement age compared it to 67 and 70 and get that information from the Social Security Administration office and you're all set. You should be able to make a decision in addition to this is just the financial, financial aspect of retirement in addition to other non-financial factors that you will need to consider. Want to relax now? Want to enjoy life now? I need money now because I'm short of money. That will sometimes define 
exactly what you need to do with no further analysis. Thank you very much for watching and please do share this with others and I will appreciate it if you click like and do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so. Make it a great day and God bless.